so you, you're not going to be able to replace Taj Washington. He, he, people don't realize that he sneaky, slowly worked his way up to career receptions leaders at USC and finished in the top 15. And very illustrious. being a top 15 receivers at USC is a pretty illustrious group to be with. Um, obviously, everyone knows about Juice Robinson. Uh, you know, that, so that he was a big name coming in. And more and more people saw Zach Branch special and special teams. He's going to get his route running better, et cetera. And last uh, on the, the Holly Bowl, uh, I was talking going into the game. We watched him do it in the game. You got a guy named uh, Jacoby Lane. This guy is long, lanky, tall, could jump out of the building, going to cause problems in the red zone and on third down, I guarantee you, all season long. But even he's kind of known now, Mark. So I'm going to flip it to Makai Lemon, who also splashed a couple of times. This is going to be your speedster. So if you're talking about somebody that might fill in that Taj Washington role, that third down, you know, maybe third and medium, third and long kind of guy where you just just need that catch. Um, you know, the, we saw Amon Ross St. Brown doing a lot uh, in the in the, uh, the playoffs. He might be that guy on third down because it just looked like whenever we needed a play to happen, it was Taj Washington. And even his young career, you saw Makai Lemon get out there and make a couple plays to get the offense moving. Offensive line, we saw Elijah Page. Uh, he plays uh, left tackle. He's the guy to look out for. He was, you know, he's the highest recruited of those linemen that came in that class I've been raving about for an entire year now. Uh, he definitely is going to be getting some early playing time. Watch for him. And then um, running back, I'd probably say uh, look for Quinton Joyner. I mean, I, I, we were hoping to see some running in that game in the Holiday Bowl. They didn't run because Miller Moss's hand was so damn hot. So uh, there's, they rode that hot hand with him, and uh, and why not? But I think that we are going to be excited to watch watch him develop. Uh, let's see. So then on on the line, look for look for a guy named uh, Braylon Shelby. He got in a little bit late in the season. Uh, he's a pass right. He's going to be a big, big young guy. You see him; it's amazing. He looks like he's bigger every time I see this guy, and he's quick off the ball, looking really sharp for SC. Uh, he should have a big name for himself next year as well. Matt, I'll save some guys in the secondary for you or if you want to hit someone. Well, yeah, I mean, isn't that the point, that the linebackers in the secondary were so underwhelming last season, you could pretty much take anyone uh, in those two position groups. And, you know, so you have Matt Entz coaching up the linebackers and you have uh, Doug Belk and hopefully, like, this isn't official, but, like, Taylor Mays, he hasn't gone anywhere else. So at least certainly for now, he's still uh, within the fold at USC. Doug Belk and Taylor Mays coaching up the secondary. So – like uh, there, there's <laughs> there's an endless list. Like I'm not going to limit it to one name. I think you get all of those position groups as collectives uh, playing much better uh, than 2023. That's just exponential improvement. Uh, so I don't feel the need to to pick an individual name. And I will also say Tim Tim is better at zeroing in on this specific guy uh, than I am. I'm kind of I'm more inclined to the 40,000 foot view, but really you can pick a name out of the hopper uh, at linebacker or secondary. I master folks at the satellite view math at 40,000 when it comes to USC football, I'm, I'm taking the satellite view. And again, Tim, I appreciate the personnel breakdown. I was certainly not expecting it in the here and now I was thinking, you know, down the road, we could certainly, I'd give you guys some time to, to, to prep and, and to be ready for that question. The other thing, and you guys tell me if this is a, a, a worthwhile rundown at some point. And the only reason I hesitate on this one, because I, I usually love this topic is because this is just Lincoln Riley's basically second full re recruiting cycle. Of course, he had to pick up the pieces from Clay Helton and finish off the 20 one class, 22 class, yes, 22 class, uh, but it would be intriguing because I've, I've done this uh, with others in the past to run through recruiting classes and just kind of pick them apart as to, you know, did this really work out? Who, who, who were the bus who jumped off the page? Who were the under the radar guys that broke through and just, just uh, kind of look at this recruiting classes. Uh, again, this is, possibly a, an April or May or June project, but uh, just some things that uh, I would love to hear out of you guys. I'm right now Super Chats. Yeah, guys, where are we headed next? These guys are out of control again. Listen, 
We really appreciate you. Um, I, I don't want to lose track of where I'm at. It was last one I did, the $5 slap happy. So then also Jeff, uh, J-Rod again coming in with the $5. Thank you so much, super uh, sticker. And then slap happy coming in again with uh, with another donation slap. And you guys, too kind. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for your time and your money. Appreciate you being here. Very nice. Thank you so much, all of you. We appreciate it. Uh, we do offer extra content, exclusive content. Uh, that's been Matt and myself. We've got 13 segments posted uh, for the uh, top two tiers of the YouTube uh, channel members here at the Voice of College Football. So I got to tell you, Matt delivers a great topic every time when we get together. We did so about two weeks ago. We cut three more segments, uh, and it was just after the Pete Carroll retirement uh, announcement. Obviously, there's a USC theme there that we can take uh, to a broader perspective to the NFL and to Nick Saban and so forth. And uh, the, the the conversations are great. I just I just uh, love it. I learned from Matt. We go back and forth. We often agree. Sometimes we disagree. We bring different takes and different perspectives. And we don't have any time, uh, any issue filling, you know, 25, 30 minutes talking college football. So there's 13 of those segments. We will be doing some more uh, here in the near future at some point. So uh, please, as a, uh, and especially for you folks that uh, are contributing uh, financially anyway, just for a, uh, a small portion of that, uh, you could have a YouTube channel membership here at the Voice of College Football USC. I learn a lot from Mark. I want to get that in. You're, you know, you might learn from me. I definitely learn a lot from you as well. And uh, those conversations are great fun. And I would just say, you know, we keep advertising them. I would just say very simply, they're not conventional conversations. I think that's the best advertisement I can give for them. Like they're not ordinary conversations. They're not run of the mill conversations. They go in all sorts of different directions. They really try to look at things from a perspective that you might not have considered before. So like, you know, original content. We're, it's it's definitely not in the first take mold. It's definitely not in the uh, you know just a cookie cutter mold. It's it's really a, a, a different perspective. It's like it's like comparing Fenway Park to Veterans Stadium or Riverfront or those 1970s <laughs> soulless concrete bowls. edifices. Yeah. No, we have style. We have charm. We we have personality, character, nuances. Those are our uh, bonus cuts for our USC members uh, at the Voice of College Football. And, and I am sorry. Uh, I did not. I thought I had updated them. There's three new members. I, I promise I'll get your names on here uh, soon enough. I'm very, very sorry that they're not up there yet. Tim takes away my uh, graphic and uh, chat monitoring uh, responsibilities during this show. I love it. I just sit here and I toss a sentence or two out there, set up these two and let them roll. And Tim's also taken on all the graphics responsibilities. So this is the one show that I, I like just to have a good time listening to these two. So we yeah, do appreciate so, it. Well, go ahead. Go ahead, Mark. You were going to thank some people. We definitely want you to thank some people. Well, certainly I just uh, was going to highlight this from Jackson Johnson. He's encouraging everyone that uh, and this is uh, something that Tim is beating the drum on. Jackson, thank you so much for being here. Jackson's phenomenal on Twitter and all over social media, doing a great job promoting our shows and promoting what we do here at the USC channel. And he, Jackson's always on it and he sees that subtotal we are ever so close to five thousand. hey hit that button guys appreciate it if you could if you're not already subscribed you're missing out you know join join the group we go live at minimum twice a week uh and you never know when we're gonna sneak one in there or put a video out for one of a cut up so make sure you got subscribed and and you know as a favor you know or, or, or an appreciation for jackson's support of us watch and listen to the Jacksonian Jackson show, you know, he's a tireless worker and you want to reward the effort that Jackson and others put out. Listen to the Jacksonian whenever you get a chance.